Uh, Soaring Around the World is our latest attraction here at Epcot. It takes you on an epic flight across six continents. And in order to make this new attraction, Imagineering developed a one-of-a-kind high-resolution camera that we took to all of these different destinations to film, and we've coupled that with a uh, brand new sort of laser projection system to create one of the sharpest projected images that you'll see anywhere. So how long did the process take? So to create an attraction like Soren Around the World is not unlike a lot of our attractions. So it takes about three to four years from when we initially get started to when we finally have people uh, riding. So what happens is this camera rig is designed in a way that uh, it's transported by a helicopter. So sometimes it's hugged up close or sometimes it's hung down long on cables. And then we, at each destination, we, we plot out the flight path and then we do it. We, we, we fly it and film it. And we keep in mind what the ride profile is going to be doing at the time and then that sort of dictates the camera moves through the locations. Um, the film, uh, like a lot of our experiences, has a, a good dose of Disney magic in it, and so all of those transitions that you're describing are uh, plotted out in, in advance as part of the process of developing the film to make sure that it's as seamless as possible. We want people focusing on what they're seeing uh, is, is most important. Right, so we know that um, Soren, just like a great movie, has a great soundtrack. So what we did for this version, because we were going international, so to speak, is we rearrange some of the sections so that the instrumentation reflects the locations that we were filming.